Bible said last time, we just done with uh, the faith of Moses. Amen. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Did you? Yes. yes it was good. The faith of Joseph, uh, Moses. We saw how Moses trusted God. How Moses could go to Egypt to fight. He took his family with him. So he had faith in God. He was trusting God. Amen. So if you have such faith, you are going to have victory. And then you are going to sing, victory is mine. Amen. Today, uh, I've chosen a little subject we are going to talk about. Uh, it's about uh, the Easter. Today, you know that it's Easter, isn't it? What Easter is? Yes, it's really, what Easter is? Amen. So that one was the victory for Christians. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. It was uh, a victory for Christians. But today we are going to see how the people of the world get the defi def definition of the Easter. What Easter is for them and what Easter is to us. Amen. Today, Easter is just a tradition. And by what I'm saying that we have to tell our children about it. Amen? You, as Christian, you don't have to be in the tradition like those people. You must know that you are, as I said, that you are peculiar people. You came from somewhere. Amen? As I said, that your body is not you. The true you is your soul. And your soul came from God. Amen? If you came from God, so you see what God says about Easter. You can see what the people are doing today. That's their business. But us, as children of God, we must follow what God said. Amen? Are you with me? Amen. So let us turn to read the word of God. I'm going to read in the book of Matthew chapter 28, verse 1, 2, and 3. So let us read together. Amen. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. In the end of summer, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came many Mary Magdalene and Anna Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like as as you know, let us read this one as well. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, nor that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay, and go with him, and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and behold, go before you into Galilee. There shall they see him. Lord, I have told you. Amen. Lord, bless the reading of your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you very much. So today we are going to speak about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. So Jesus Christ died. The very reason of his coming was to die. Do you know why Jesus died? Who can tell me why Jesus died? Oh, Sister Lily is dead today. Tell me. Say, our sins. Amen. Forgive our sins. Yes, and Sister Lucy. To pay the price. Thank you very much. So Jesus died to pay the price. He wanted to pay the price. He wanted to set us free. Are you free? Yes. But Jesus couldn't set us free until he raised up from death. Amen. <coughs> and people say that how Jesus can be die? Because the prophet said that unto us the son is born. Amen. Amen. No, the child is born and unto us the son is given. Amen. Amen. As I uh, told you last time, the son and the, the child, is it the same? Is it the same? The Bible says, unto us, 
the son is given and the child is born. Are you free? So, the child was born, but the son wasn't given. Are you free? The son was given, but the child was born. There's a big difference between the child and the son. Amen. You are sons of God. But you are children of your parents. Are you free? Your body, bodies belongs to your parents. That's the reason you've got your father's names. Are you free? Sister Benny, are you free? I want you to follow me carefully. Yeah? But in God's mind, you don't have your father's names. I said all the families, all the family is named Jesus. Jesus. You found out that everyone is called Jesus. This is the son, and this is the child. The child was the body of Jesus, amen, and the son was his soul. And this soul was God. But the body of Jesus wasn't God. <coughs> but let me say that how people said he can't be God and die. God can't die, isn't it? One day I was, speaking, I was talking to a friend, this Muslim, he said that you say that Jesus is God, but how God can die? It's true, Jesus will up after three days, but God can die. Are you free? I said Jesus wasn't God and he was God. He said, how? I said because there was Jesus in, in Jesus. The child, the child's name was, the boy was Jesus. Why? Because he came in the name of the Father. Do you understand? The angel said his name will be called Jesus. And my Bible said that this body was the tabernacle and the living God, the one who named Jesus after his own name, he came to dwell there and his name was also Jesus the Spirit because God is Spirit. Are you free? So when he came to die, he came to pay the price. But Adam said that Adam didn't have father or mother. Who's the father of uh, uh, Adam? God. Who was the, the mother of Adam? God. Because God is also a mother. Do you know that? That's the reason the Bible says, Oh no, honor your father and your mother. Do you understand? Because your mother and your father, they are your gods on earth. Are you free? They are your gods on earth. But Jesus came to die to pay the price to set Adam free. Do you understand? God was the kinsman redeemer. We spoke about the kinsman redeemer. God was the kinsman redeemer to Adam because God was the closer family of Adam. And God as spirit, he couldn't die. And in the Bible, the promise was given that the seed of woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. Are you familiar? And the seed of woman, by one said that it was the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So God created himself a body. Okay? He created a body and he came himself to dwell in that body we call Jesus. But I want to say that it was the deity in the service of death. Why? 
to redeem Adam back to his position. Are you familiar? So Jesus died on the cross to pay the price, amen, amen. to redeem us back to God. His death wasn't, it was important. But the main thing people are was waiting, it was the resurrection. Do you understand? It's like a football team is going to play the game. Amen? World Cup. What people are waiting for? They are waiting the end of the game, isn't it? So you can't claim the victory in the beginning of the match. You have to wait until the end. That's the reason, amen, Easter is a victory for Christians. Are you free? So you can't make Easter as a business day making money without talking about Jesus. And today you see everywhere people are talking about Easter but they show you something else than Jesus. But the main person of this feast is the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about eggs, it's not about chicken, it's not about rabbit. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ came out from the tomb. You know, when I see how the people are behaving themselves, I just believe that God has to destroy this world. There's nothing left for this world if it's not a, a destruction. God is sick and tired of this world. If you see people they like more leisure, the love of the things of God in the heart of people is not there anymore. <coughs> people don't love God anymore. God becomes secondary in their lives. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you that. If you are sick, there's no one who's going to heal you. Not your teacher. Go to the hospital, see. There's a section of children in the hospitals. We see babies sick in the hospital. Parents don't have life anymore because they have to go to the hospital every time. So when God gave you grace to be the way you are, why? You don't worship Him. I'm telling you that this world will never offer you something better than God. Trust me, I'm telling you. Don't waste your time to, to impersonate people on the street, to be like them. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine Jesus Christ went on the cross? He was crucified. Today is just history. People are talking about it like something took place, like a, a myth, something like that. But it's a reality. The reason of death of Jesus Christ, it's what to save you. Yes. And today people are taking in vain the death of Jesus Christ. They don't care about it. But I'm going to say that God doesn't condemn you because you're a sinner. He said God will condemn you because you pushed away the salvation. Yes. God will never judge anybody without warning himself uh, first. Mm. Are you okay, Sister Robin? Thank you for your listening. Amen. As children, the best way you can follow in your life, follow Jesus. If you want to succeed in your life, follow Jesus. I'm saying, I'm saying today, keep it in your mind. If you want to succeed in your life, Jesus Christ is success. If you go away from Jesus, I'm telling you, it's a fail. Total fail. You found out when you go up one day. I always tell my children, me, the only thing I can give to them is God. It's up to you. Take it all, leave it. I'm doing my job, giving God to my children, giving God to you, guys. But it's up to you. Take it all, leave it. You have to make your own decision. Not follow the message because it's my daddy's message. 
I don't have a message. I'm not trying to tell you to force you to follow Barabana. I'm just telling you that Barabana was the true prophet of God. Barabana couldn't waste all his life preaching the message. God told Barabana, put the message in the books and tapes. How many people today listen to the message? If you go to some places, if they found you in the church like this, they will come and kill you in Muslim countries. But the Bible said that we thank God for the freedom of religion. So this is a privilege for us to gather in this place to talk about the Lord. And people are taking it in vain. So many people they think that you are playing games when we are doing this. God is a true God. The apart of humanity was the resurrection of Jesus. Two disciples in the world to the uh, Emmaus was thinking about it. Say, oh, that's gonna happen. Jesus is supposed to be the Messiah. Is dead until today. Nothing happened. And uh, the, the Bible says that Jesus joined them on the road to Emmaus. Started talking to them. Are you with me? If you notice something, they didn't recognize Jesus because they had the image of Jesus who died on the cross. When Jesus came, he changed his form. In the book of Mark 16, the Bible says, uh, spoke about it. Walking with Jesus, not knowing that it was him. And Jesus was the hope of Israel. Jesus went up from there. But people didn't know him. Amen. Listen to this. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, amen, amen. and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it, as upon what? Upon the rock. And that angel wasn't someone with wings. The angel was just a man like you and me. Because Mary thought that it was a garden. Amen. Amen. And he kept saying, we are looking for Jesus Christ. I like this one. Why? Do you know why? Mary, Magdalena, and another Mary was looking for Jesus. Do you know why? Who can tell me why? Hmm? Because it was a promise that Jesus Christ will resurrect after three days. I like them. All the disciples forgot about it. But those women, two of them were sleeping. They said, oh, first day today. Ah, another two days. They were in expectation. Are you me? That the Messiah will come back in life. They knew that Jesus was able to come back in life. But if you notice for the disciples, it was like a disappointment. So oh, it's finished for us. It's God, the Lord is God, it's finished for us. First day they will sleep. They wake up and say, oh, another two days. On the third day, no one told them that Jesus was resurrected. No one told them. They say, hey, Mary, come on, this is the third day. That's what he said. They were stacking on the scriptures, expecting the Messiah to come back in life. So when it was the third day, in the morning, that the reason I gave my title, Easter morning. You know that in time of slavery, people, there was something we, we, we called the, the year of Jubilee. Every 15th year, it was the Jubilee. Amen? And on the 49th day, people were sleeping, just waiting for the rising of the sun to be set 
free. Don't understand? They sleep. They wake up. Because there was a promise about the Jubilee are free. Yes. The rising of the sun. In the morning, the first person is going to see the sun. He's going to cry. He's going to shout. Tell people. It is the rising of the sun. That means that we are not in bondage under bondage anymore, but we are free. Yes. The freedom comes with the rising of the sun. Yes. If Jesus is risen from death, that means we are free. That's, that is the meaning of Easter. Amen? Amen. Easter is not a business day. It's the day of freedom. After a few days, they said, let's go and see. So in the morning, when they saw the sun rising, they said, oh, right, this is the day the Lord said he's going to come back. Let's go and find out what's taking place. Amen? Amen. And Peter with his friends doing something else. But Peter was the disciple of Jesus. Amen? They knew the promise much better. So they should know that this is the time. This is the day. But all of them didn't go to the tomb. You know, sometimes women can do good things. Amen. Those one was women. The good one. Lay themselves on the promises of God. It was time, let's go. When the one there, the Bible says that, and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his women white as snow. So that angel was shining, reflecting lights. Do you understand? But when I'm saying that your celestial body, your theophany is like light. Beautiful body. If you can only know who you really are, you love God more. God has got so many things, good things for you. But this world is trying to, to distract you. Amen. Amen. Do you know what I'm saying? That Satan can't do anything against you as long as you remain in Jesus, in Christ. You know that? Yes. The only thing Satan can do is to pull you out of Christ. Mm -hmm. Satan is standing there and you are there. Satan says, hey, come. Come. This is sweetie, come. Come. You see, you know that it's Satan. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Instead of following the sweetie, you need to see what is behind the sweet. You know, the fisher. You know what we call the bed when people are fishing? The bed. Yes. Yeah? Yes. You know that? You don't know what the bed is? You take something like meat, something. Like a worm. Yeah, like a worm. You put it in the oh, okay. thing. So you put it in the water. So when the fish is coming, the fish is saying, oh, this is a kind man is bringing me food. But it's not the food. It's looking to attract the fish and go and eat it. Are you with me? Yeah. That's exactly what Satan is doing. Satan is telling you, oh, see this one. See in Hollywood. See this movie. See this one. Oh, it's nice. Instagram. Facebook. It's nice. I'm telling you, those one social media that are destroying even your brains. Most of children today, they are not intelligent in school anymore because of that. You can't build your life with social media. I'm telling you. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? Yes. You can't build your future with Facebook, with Instagram, WhatsApp, whatever. Those one, they 
They are a means to help you to communicate with your friends, brothers and sisters. But don't start your life on it all the time. It's a wasting of time. Instead of studying your lessons from school, to succeed in school, you are wasting your time on those things. Brothers and sisters, the challenge is there. The succeed, the success name is Jesus Christ. You want to succeed? Follow Christ. Who's Jesus? Who's Jesus? The Word of God. Jesus Christ is not the church. Amen. I'm not saying that you have to make yourself church members. Make yourself believers. Trust in God. I spoke about Moses. That Moses, when he, he was born in Egypt, yeah? yeah, he was living in the house of the king. He had everything in that house. Food, cars, everything. Big houses. And one day, he was told that he was the deliverer of those slaves, those slaves. What he did, Moses left the house of Pharaoh, the king. He went, he became a mad dog of them. Because he responded to the call, he knew that God was above Pharaoh. Are you free? It's the same. To the woman, fear not ye, for I know what ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. So when they saw the angel shining like light, they were afraid of it. God is strange, isn't it? As a human being, how can you be shining as a light and speaking at the same time? It was something very supernatural. He said, Oh, no, no, no. this is something special. And the angel said, fear not, I know that you are looking for Jesus Christ. What the angel said, he is not here in the tomb, yes, yes. for he is risen as he said. I mean, he is risen as he said. So when Jesus said that, he knew exactly what, what, what he was talking about. So that the reason those women came to see if Jesus stayed in the tomb. They were in the expectation to see Jesus rising up from, from the dead. And the angel said, he's not there. He said, if you want to believe, come, see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. So who told the disciples? The woman. Two of them. The disciples was those who were supposed to know that this is the time. So being beside Jesus Christ doesn't mean anything. Are you with me? It's not because you are you are the neighbor of the church, that, that means that you are a child of God. No. So the disciples didn't know that, doing something else. But those women, they came quick to tell the disciples that Jesus is not dead, he raised up from the dead. And that was the Easter morning for them. It was the victory for the disciples and all the believers. Amen. But this one is 2,000 years ago. What is the benefit to us? But I want to say that this one is the history now. But what is the benefit of it today for us? The Bible says in the book of Malachi chapter 4, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud year and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. 
and the day that cometh shall burn them up. What is going to burn them up? The day. Okay. Said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither wood nor branch. I like this one, verse 2. But unto you that fear my name. Is it for everyone? Is it for everyone? No. Unto you. Yes? That fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Who's Malachi for? Barabanam is So this one is talking about Barabanam. That means that the ministry of Barabanam is the raising of the Son. His ministry is the Easter morning for us. But not to everyone, it's only for those who are that fear the name of the Lord. So if the sun is going to be risen, and only a group of people are going to see it, that means that it's not the sun we are talking about here. Because if it's this sun, everyone will see it. I agree. This one in Malachi 4, the son spoken in Malachi 4, it's something else. So who is the son? Jesus is the son of righteousness. So that one was the son, the natural son. But here we are talking about the spiritual son. S-U-N. Amen. This one. S U N. But when we say that it's the rising of the S O N. Because the says S O N is the S U N. This sun you see there shining outside, it's on the type of the true sun, which was the Son, Jesus Christ. So the rising of the sun today is the rising of Jesus Christ for the people. So how do you see Jesus? Jesus will come back again in another form to speak to you. If you feel the name of the Lord, it should be the sun of righteousness arising for you with the healing with it. If you talk about the healing, healing your body, I'll tell you that in time of Moses, there was healing. That's right. But this one is a special healing. It's not the healing of your body. It's the healing of your soul. Because the rising of the sun is rising in your soul, not in your body. The sun brings light. Jesus is the light of the world. Are you free? The sun of righteousness. So the Easter morning for you is the rising of sun. That means Jesus coming back again in the form of the word of God to give light to your soul. And when Jesus comes in you, you become him. Are you feeling? Yes. But I want to say that if you put the spirit of Beethoven in me, say I'll play music like Beethoven. Yeah. If, you, if you put the spirit of uh, mercy in me, I'll play football like him. Do you understand? If you put the spirit of Jesus in me, I will act like Jesus. So the way you act, is it Jesus? Can you imagine Jesus Christ on the, on the street smoking cigarette? Can you accept that? Even it looks like this, you think it's going to be Jesus? No. But I want to say that God is known by his character. If you want to know God, you must know God by his own character. So if you are Jesus, the sign of righteousness came in your life, it reflects the life of Jesus Christ. And today, in the message, we see something else. I'm telling you, we see something else. It's sad. Very sad. Sometimes you ask yourself, oh, 
What should I do? It's people doing what Brother Bram said. The sight of righteousness. But I'm saying this. It's the soon coming and this lovely city with others across the nation. There will be tens of thousand times thousands of dollars spent from Easter flowers to go on the altar. See what the Easter is for the people of the world. So why brother? That's what? That's what? Pagan. Easter is not a business. Easter is Jesus Christ coming back in your heart. To establish his kingdom in your hearts. Amen. God never had an altar for Easter flowers. That's what can put on it. I was watching a documentary in YouTube about Notre Dame, the party. There was a place, a town of fall of Jesus Christ. People coming to visit it say, oh, this one was the crown of throne of Jesus Christ. And people are asking, is it the, the real one or you just make it? Say, no, no, this is the real one. It's a lie. So they are using the name of the Lord to make money. People, they don't care about Jesus. They do care only about their pocket. And the name of Jesus is a big name. To make money. That's the reason I'm telling you don't be church members because most of the church today they are business. Amen. Amen. I saw the priest of that temple. He sat down and smoking a cigarette. The priest. <laughs> he had his white collar, you know collar? The white thing they put here as pastor of the Lord's church. You never see me putting it down. Never. And he was smoking. He was the big priest of that cathedral. You understand? People coming to visit, telling lie to people that this is the crown of Jesus. But I don't care. Even if the, the real one if you can give it to you, take it, take it home and put it on, on your head, you will never go to heaven for that. We need more than that. Jesus gave us more than the crown today. Jesus gave us his own life. But when said you can go to Israel, find where Jesus was in the tomb, and take something that he said is going, it's not going to make you Christian. You see the big, the big stone where the angel was sitting upon. If you go today, that big stone is like this. You know, people come and cutting it, taking it home, thinking that if I take it home, it's going to save my life. No way. You want to be saved? Follow Barabana. So they are making, they make it commercial, and Easter is the same today. Listen, and coming Easter, but they don't even say the world has got even Easter, Christmas, and everything else. Still, it's a great day of commercial. Nothing about God in it. Nothing of God in Easter. Say, today's Easter. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> Do you know? I would like to buy you chocolate, but not in Easter. So if you need chocolate, come and see me another day, not on this one. Go to Tesco. The chocolate costs 15 pounds. Have you seen the chocolate of 75 pounds? In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, it's Easter. So they took the definition of Easter, they changed it. They gave it another meaning to make money. It's become now a tradition 
taking people to hell. They don't care. They are making money. But the mom said, even the food they are giving to you, do you know that that food is death inside? You know one day, one day, my wife invited people, they went to brother, sister, Eddie Wright, Frank, to eat. Before we eat, that brother was jumping on the food to eat. But I want to say that, wait, we are going to pray first. But I want to pray it. I feel it. After prayer, but I want to say, see this food? There was cancer in the food before the prayer. But I want to say, I'm not going to eat anymore. But I want to say, no, you can eat. Because it's clean. And the brother didn't eat. Before you, before you eat, guys, pray. If you see Brother Barnum, you saw Brother Barnum doing it, do what he did. Do you understand? Because we don't know better than him. You see Brother Barnum pray, you pray. Are you with me? Do you know that Jesus Christ was praying? Jesus Christ was the living God. The mighty God, the fullness of God. God was in him, but he was praying. You want to protect yourself, you pray. But I want to say that the only thing Satan can take from you to get you is prayer. Mm -hmm. Try to get prayer out, then you'll see. Mm -hmm. I promise you, you'll meet Satan. Who's Satan? But I want to say that all sickness is Satan. Even the flu. Is a demon. Do you know that? Demonology. He said that. But I want to say that they gave it the names. They call it cancer. They call it flu. They call it this and that. He said, but in reality, they are demons. Well, because the demon means a tormentor. So if you are sick, you need to cast that demon out of your body because you've got the power. Believe and you pray. I feel I'm closing. Amen? Amen. Today is a great day of commission. Nothing about God in it. What in the world is the God to do with a rabbit? Amen. Now, you guys, you tell me the connection between Jesus and the rabbit. <coughs> is the rabbit looks like Jesus? Is the, the, this rabbit looks like the cross. So, where did this one came from? And no one is asking a question to know why did you replace the rabbit instead of Jesus? No one is asking a question. Because the people, people love tradition. They love feasts. They love parties. So if they all in this Easter today, all this country, they are not Christians, they are not believers. But they love Christmas. And they can't get in any tradition. In October, they will celebrate devils. We call it Halloween. Do you understand? Let me shock you a little bit. This Easter, Halloween, Christmas, they are all from the devil. Are you with me? Are you with me? Christmas, Jesus wasn't born on the 25th of December. You know that? All from the devil. They are all the same. The celebration of East of Christmas is not because people are happy Jesus was born. No, because we are going to get presents. Is it true? Hey, is it true? You say amen? Oh, Sister Benny, say amen. So you change, you've changed the meaning of it. You are not happy because you, even your own birthday, this is my birthday, today is my birthday, is because you are waiting for the presents. <laughs> you know, by the way, I'm saying that when you start changing the meaning of things, you get away from God. Even today, people are going to school, they don't know why they are going to school for. Do you understand? If you're going to school, it's to learn to succeed in your life. When you go and start doing something else, so you miss the goal. But I want to say that's what we call sin. Sin is missing the goal. So when you're doing something, make sure that you keep the motive, you keep the, the purpose of what 
you went there for. Are you free? If I leave my home, I go to work, that's mean I, I'm going there to work. My aim is to work. I will do the job the way they ask me to do it. Because to the end of the day, I will get my money, my salary. That's the purpose of me going to Tesco every morning. Are you me? So if I start doing something else, then working, what's going to happen to me? They will sack me. And if you go there as a worker in Tesco, they will give you uniforms. You've got that nice cloth, yeah. Nice shoes, I've got this one. But I can't wear this one in this one. They say it's nice, it's expensive. But you don't need it. You need to get yourself in the uniform. It's the same with God. Keep in your mind, you are the children of God. You must succeed in the school. Let people see God in you. Are you with me? Don't be the bad example in the schools. Please. Because everything you are doing, you are going to do, is going to fall upon Jesus. That's the reason why you do something in school, they'll call your parents. Do you know why? Because though you, you are representing your parents, they'll tell you, oh, please come, I want to see you. Such and such thing took place. Such and such did this and that. Why? Was your dad there? Was your mom there in the school? No, it was you. But we are taking the responsibility because we didn't send you to school to fight. We didn't send you to school to make trouble. We sent you to school to learn. That's it. You go there, you learn, and come back. Someone trying to make trouble, go and report it to the office. That's it, the best thing to do. It's not to fight. Don't bring the shame on the family. Don't bring the shame on, on Jesus. Don't bring the shame on Brother Guadam. Don't give the people the occasion to insult the brother and say, ah, it's not a, it's a false prophet because of what you did. And you will be responsible for that. Amen? Amen. Happy Easter! A big chocolate yummy. So I don't know, but I Joseph, what is the connection this one and this? Who can tell me the connection between this one and this? This is the bonnet. Yes? Nothing. Thank you. Are you okay, Bonnet? Good. There's no connection. They just made it up. Business. Why? The dog selling you, the, the main thing is not to feed you with this one. The main thing is. They want to take money from your pocket. Yeah. But they see how can we do to get that money? You know what I'm, I'm learning in college? There's a, a subject we call marketing. Okay. Yeah. They're teaching us how to push people to buy. Yeah. So push them to buy, give them the uh, the desire of buying, 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 buying all the time. Do you understand? Today, what's, what's taking place? People used to buy a lot. They take finance, they take mortgage, they take everything in finance. Now people, they found themselves under the debts, so they can't make it anymore. Say, no, 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 we're going to stop this one. People now, they don't want to get credit anymore. So do you know what they did? They came to the children now. How they start? They start with the television. How do you call it? Uh, uh, Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig! Peppa Pig! Peppa Pig! You start watching Peppa Pig on the TV, and Peppa Pig will get in your brain, will get in your soul. When you go to Tesco, you see the sweet Peppa Pig! Mommy! Peppa Pig! So they are preparing your mind to get money from your parents. I'm telling you, Jesus is a deliverer. The deliverance is more than what you think. They will make pyjama of Peppa Pig. They will make pyjama of Spider-Man because you've been showing 
They saw it in the movie. Now you want to be like what you saw in the movie. And they sell it expensive. Nowadays, all the children, they want iPhones. They want Samsung's. All the children. Do you know how much does it cost? 500 pounds, 800 pounds. Oh, mom, please, on my birthday, buy me iPhone. That's the only thing you ask. You don't know how much it's going to cost. Pressure, 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 pressure. Mm -hmm. The father said, okay, let me make this child happy. He's going to get credit of iPhone. Start paying every month. Debts. Before even to start, uh, finish paying, you break the iPhone or you drop in the water, the iPhone is gone. Why are you still paying? Another Christmas you need, no, you need something else. Satan is paying with you. Why? Because people, they don't turn their eyes upon Jesus. Are you free? So they can't spend money for you in prison, but try to keep it in the proper way. Because someone else also can use it. Are you free? Are you free? Yes. I'm closing. Because we follow, listen, because we follow the traditions of men instead of the commandment of God. That's the problem. So they will play with you, they'll give you all kinds of Easter egg, chocolate. You eat chocolate. Amen. You destroy your teeth. This one is going to make people fat. Death inside. How are you feeling? Do you know that you can live your life without eating chocolate? Do you know that? It doesn't give life. It's not necessary for you in this world. Do you understand? The main thing is food. You see some children, they don't like eating, but they want chocolate. You can't build your body with chocolate, Sister Bonnie. Are you feeling? You eat proper food, Sister Lily. She start eating now, see? Good girl, yeah? You need to eat like Lily. Yeah? So they are trying to kill you. And this one is bad for diabetic people. Do you know that? Now they say, okay, we make it free form. Do you know free form? Gluten free. Lie. I saw a child in the hospital, diabetic, saying, oh, I need chocolate. Gluten free. The doctor said, no, even gluten free can't eat. Do you think it's gluten free? Lie. It's all about money. But the man said that they can give you poison to kill you. They make food as poison to kill you. The only thing they want is your money. That's it. This world, people, they don't have heart anymore. They are ready for anything to get your money. So if you don't hide yourself in Christ, you are finished. I'm telling the truth. This is the protection for you. Christ or perish. Closing. Something like that wouldn't matter, but they just make a commercial day out of it. It's a disgrace. You can eat chocolate. I'm not saying that chocolate is bad. You can eat it. But don't make it a tradition. Are you familiar? Yes. If you need chocolate, I'll buy you some chocolate. You eat. But not today. <laughs> Amen? It's, a, it's, it's what? A shame. Huh? a shame for them to do such things as that. A pagan ceremony. When did Santa Claus have anything to do with Jesus? Big man. Big dummy. White beard. Red cloth. Santa Claus. He took the place of Jesus Christ. Coming with a sack of toy. Who can tell me how? Did you get something from Santa Claus? Did you? <laughs> Santa Claus is a liar. A big liar. It's not true. There are traditions to get your money. I walk in Tesco during Christmas 
Do you know what time people start buying things in the, in the shop? Yeah. 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. By 7 a.m. in the morning, you don't have anything on the shelf. Everything's gone. Yeah. It's actually the same things they're buying every day. But in that tradition, they made them to buy more. And that one is stuck in their heart. They can't help it. They need Christ for deliverance. So I don't mean that in Christmas we don't give you present. I don't mean that. But please, you get your gifts for Christmas, but try to put Jesus back in his place. Are you with me? Keep it in the right way. Keep Easter in the right way, and then you get the benefit of Easter. My last quote. Christ is risen from death. And then he said, but when I'm speaking, Elijah and Elisha, the things that I do shall the church also after his resurrection. Jesus died. But when I say that Jesus was a pillar of fire, he became flesh and he went back again in the form of pillar of fire. I agree. The same Jesus came in the form of the pillar of fire. This picture is supposed to be there. I'll change it after. <laughs> I agree. Mean, so, the, from the pillar of fire, Jesus Christ, and then the pillar of fire again. Ten days after, he came back to the disciples as the pillar of fire in terms of fire. <clears throat> but when I say it's actually the same Lord Jesus Christ, the one who was in Galilee, this man changed his form, he became now all the disciples. Yes. And we saw what about him in his birth, the same pillar of fire came again in the long cabin mm -hmm. in Barabbanon. Mm -hmm. That's the reason we see in Malachi 4, the Bible tells us about the son of righteousness, and Malachi 4 is the Barabbanon. Mm -hmm. In his ministry, the son came back again. The rising of the son. But Barabbanon brought the message to set us free from churches to the word of God. Are you free? But if I take you to any church, it will be a mistake. Even if I take you to Branham Tabernacle, it will be a mistake. Amen. If that scripture is true, which we know it is, then it's the same tonight that he was there. He is with us, and if he will bring himself down, condescending from glory and reveal himself here in the church tonight in that manner. Will you all accept him as Savior and healer? Will you do it? God bless you. Amen. As I said, in the age of Ephesus, if you are looking for Jesus, who is Jesus? Paul. Every messenger represented Jesus Christ in each age. In time of Barabbanam, if you're looking for Jesus Christ, you send it to Barabbanam. And the end of all the messengers, it was the rising of the Son. The Son of Righteousness, which is Jesus Christ, the Word of God, the great light, is said to raise up and shine. Because your day has come. This is the day of freedom. Easter means freedom for us. We have tapes. We have books, you need to read tapes yourself, you need to listen to, uh, listen to tapes yourself and read books yourself. Have your self-understanding toward the Word of God. Amen? Amen. So self-connection with God. As I said, don't make yourself church member because you see the artificial teeth, you put it there, it's going to shine. It's maybe uh, in gold. But it doesn't have any connection with your body. You can be sitting in the church, but you don't have any connection with God. If that's the case, it's a waste of time. Are you free? Yes. God bless you. Amen. Any question?
Nu? Și să părneam în zgărătă ăștia. Gluten free. Gluten free means... Haha, we thought gluten. Gluten is like sugar. You know sugar is very bad for the body, for some people. So they will take that sugar out. They put something else. It's gonna taste like sugar, but it's not sugar. You understand? When you say gluten, that means something contains sugar. It's gluten. So when they say gluten free, it means that the sugar is taken out. Yeah? It can taste like sugar, but it's not sugar. But most of the time, those things they are using to replace sugar is even bad than sugar itself. That's the reason you have to pray for everything you're eating. Yeah? That's the meaning of gluten free. Sister Lily, any question? No? Yes, Sister Lily. Pagan. Hmm? What is pagan mean? Pagan. Pagan. Oh, pagan. 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 Uh, pagan. Pagan means unbeliever. Unbeliever. Someone doesn't pray. It's a pagan. You understand? You understand? All the traditions they are not from God. That's the reason why I'm saying they are pagan traditions. That's the meaning of it. Thank you very much. See? I know that when I'm talking here, so many things you don't understand. That the vision always asking you to ask questions. But I must question. What's it, Amos? Oh, Ebo. <laughs> I was saying Amos when I was talking to Ebo. Do you have any question, Ebo? No. Chafet. No one? No one's got a question. What is this? Question? No. Okay. God bless you. I know what I believe.
rise in our hearts. Give us, give us lights and set us free for the things we want. Thank you for that, Lord. Father, we come and we make meeting in our hearts. Give us, Lord, what will bless us.